look at uh, figure 22. That's when the collapse, uh, uh, figure 21 and 22 is, shows the collapse starting. Uh, the collapse starting is white screens coming out horizontally, almost, uh, it's come out almost 40 feet in uh, about three quarters of a, of a second. Uh, it's going 30 miles, uh, 30 miles an hour. Now, horizontal, uh, horizontal, something coming out horizontal is not uh, what you expect to fires. And it's, uh, it's there's tremendous, uh, much, uh, tremendous parts of the side that are, that are going. And, uh, the, uh, if you go to figure, figure 23, above that, gray dust starts coming out. That is, a, that is an area, an, an area which was on fire earlier, which is now turned into a, a lopsided, it looks like it's uh, about to fall off, a lopsided, uh, saying this, the top one third of the tower is about to fall off. Uh, it looks like it's about to fall off, but in fact, uh, that was just, uh, the gray dust is coming out where the fires were. And then uh, if you go to the figure 24, like I expressed at some places, all hell bricks loose. Because there you see the, see the, uh, the, uh, the white bottom and the gray bent top, they separated. It's like uh, uh, an explosion separated the two of them. And uh, you have new white, uh, white squibs coming out very rapidly. See this, uh, this, uh, this white squib over to the left hand side? It's coming out over 100 miles an hour. And, uh, and you also notice uh, that top, the top of the top is falling down very rapidly. It's falling down almost, uh, it's falling down 90, uh, uh, about 140 feet in uh, in a half, in, uh, in a, uh, a second, so it's going close to 90 miles an hour uh, downward, and uh, it continues in Figure 25. It's coming coming downward. That's faster than gravity could possibly pull it down. Uh, it, there's uh, something else that's going on there. And now, if you look at Figure 26, uh, that's the last shot from that camera. That's about one and a half seconds later. Uh, almost all of the top is gone. It is almost all turned into gray dust. The, it's, it's, it's over halfway. There's uh, some parts of it left, but you notice that then the, uh, the, the white dust, uh, another white dust starts appearing. So that had to be a new explosion. So well, I want to go back okay, to Okay, can, can I ask a question about, uh, you, you said that the top part of, the North Tower is coming down faster than gravity could pull it down. That is, you're saying it's going faster than free fall acceleration, and if so, what could possibly cause that? Well, I will, uh, that, was, that was something since it takes a little, little explanation, but, but that's, uh, that's basically, I think it's, uh, it's being pulled from the gradient of what is exploding inside the, uh, the, the top, to, uh, the, the bit top that's, that's come off. Um, so, so it's the force of the explo of explosions that are driving it to come down faster than gravity. Yeah, right. Well, it's the uh, right the force of explosions that are for driving it to come down faster than gravity because uh, there happens to be a, a gradient. Right now, we don't know what is causing it to, to come down, except we know that gravity is not doing it. The most the gravitation could fall from gravity with four equal mg in one and a half seconds is a distance of t equal one half by gt squared, which is 36 feet. That's freshman physics, uh, 36 feet downward. Yet, uh, clearly the, uh, the top, this top that I'm talking is falling, is falling faster than that. It's observed to fall 140 feet in less than one and a half seconds. So, um, uh, the, uh, it's accelerating clearly faster than the acceleration of gravity. And for